while worshipping him you have to know that such a powerful thing you have to establish within yourself and by that establish you have to manifest the powers of shri ganesh and the power of shri ganesha's greatness is auspicious It's a coefficient. It's a formula we can say in scientific language that emits auspiciousness. It's a magnet in the mother earth. the same magnet is within you which is shri ganesh you leave me alone and i can tell you which is the north south east west close my eyes still i tell you you know there are so many birds who fly out all the way to australia to siberia because they have that magnet with them they have that inner sense with it there are so many fishes which have got actual magnet placed in them scientists should find out in the same way shri ganesha within us is magnetic so a person who has shri ganesha awakened within himself becomes magnetic and magnet attracts the steel not dried leaves it does not steel and steel is like the guru tatva is the man with the steel say man of steel a person who has character conviction and who cannot be dominated by temptations is a man of steel so this magnet attracts the steel steel has only one badness bad thing about it that it is uh not pliable it's rather dry but the magnet attracts means it creates that special quality in the steel that it moves towards the magnet in the same way when this magnet is awakened within you you will be amazed instead of people running away from your ashrams they will be running towards you i find it impossible i go to any house if they come to know i'm there god save me anyway any place So what is this magnet? Is pure love. Is pure love. And the concept of pure love is that it doesn't depend on anything whatsoever but on itself. It is the support of itself. It's like light that spreads just by its own nature. It doesn't want anything. Doesn't expect anything. Just 
spreads all over and enlightens other people's heart. That's why they get attracted. Those who have not even seen Me, those who have not even known Me, just with My name I've seen places like Calcutta, we had such a problem, such crowds, that they said, we have to call the police. I said, there's no need to call the police, but we'll manage somehow. In Pune, we had such crowds that the fellow <laughs> who gave us the hall got a fright. He said, Mother, I'll give you a very big area where you can sit down in a big open place, but I am sorry, in my hall all will be finished. I said, you don't worry. Everything will be in proper place. We had such crowds that people were sitting on the ground, on the staircase, everywhere, and till I spoke, nobody moved an inch, you see, like a picture. And I spoke for one and a half hour, just like a picture. No movement of hand, feet, eyes, nothing, just sitting like a picture. And the gentleman who owned that hall had never seen such a thing before. Throughout for one and a half hour, no movement of any kind. What is it that working? Is the magnet. Even if you are the steel, it will attract. But if you are a magnet, then it will attract in such a way that it will never leave this magnet. So for yoga it is important that you fix up your magnets of Shri Ganesha, who is the childlike personality. A child, there's one child, everybody is attracted towards the child. One child gets stuck up somewhere in the air, whether you are a Russian, American or an Arab, everybody would be worried about the child, what's happening to the child. They will not think it's an Arab child or an American child, no. Unless until he's a devil. Why this attraction for children? Because their magnets are intact. Their ego has not yet developed. Our ego developed had to develop because we had to decide in our own freedom what is right and what is wrong. So the ego developed was all right. Up to a point we should have developed our ego, but we overdeveloped it and overdeveloped it, overlapped the superegos, no conditioning, nothing, we'll do whatever we like. Today we are wearing a half pant, tomorrow we'll wear a long pant, all right? Then we'll cut our hair or we'll do this, we'll do that. No conditioning of any kind. All superego was also covered, ego. This ego would have been all right if you had kept your Ganesh Tattva. And what is that? is the wisdom power of Ganesha. The second power of Ganesha is that He gives you wisdom. If you see a farmer and a big professor or a very well-educated man and talk to both of them, you'll find the farmer has much more wisdom than this MAD, PhD. Why? Because He deals with Mother Earth every day. He knows the living process, He knows about the innocence of the Mother Earth. So an innocent person is the wisest among A child who is innocent is much wiser than ten ego-oriented people.
So the second capacity of Sri Ganesha is that you become a wise person. When you speak, people start looking at you. You speak like Kabira, you speak, speak like Ranaka, you speak like something that makes people feel their spirit. This is what I call is a Sahaja A Sahaja who does not have wisdom is good for nothing. He comes to Sahaja Yoga and he is like a bull in a china shop, goes on hitting this person and hitting that person and hitting that person. And when you ask this three wounded person, they say that bull, the same bull, everybody reports about the same bull. Oh, that's the one, all right. So it grants you wisdom. When you have the power of Sri Ganesha, your eyes are radiant, you get a spark in your eye, a light in your eye. When He is enlightened in you, then you cannot look at anyone with lust and greed. But this glance is so powerful that even one glance is sufficient to purify thousands of people. Just the opening of the eyes are necessary. And you find whole thing changes into a beautiful morning from a complete dark night. Glance can awaken the Kundalini. The mother Kundalini cannot move unless and until Sri Ganesha gives the permission. He is like the Vice-Chancellor sitting on all the chakras. He has to certify, all right, pass, go. <laughs> on every chakra. And when the Kundalini rises, Sri Ganesha is awakened, otherwise Kundalini cannot rise. But then when he sleeps down, Kundalini sucks, is sucked by him. Now we think we have lost our innocence, that's not easy to be lost, it, it's not destructible. Only thing, what you have done is to cover it with something that cannot allow Sri Ganesha's principle to manifest in us. You have pushed it down, you have brought pressure on it, you have brought loads and loads of nonsense on it. That's all. But it never dies. It is an eternal principle of the whole universe. The another quality of a person who is endowed which Sri Ganesha's powers is that he removes all the hurdles. If one person of this nature is in some place, all the rest of the people who are nearby will be saved if there's an accident or if there's any problem which is destructive, all of them will be saved. You will find this happening to you. He being the Ganapati, he is now the master of all the Ganas. He guides you. 
Sahaja Yoga cannot work out without Sri Ganesh. He is the one who is Sahaja. He is the one who creates all spontaneity of the world. He is the one who takes you to the right path. He is the one who gives you everything easily. He is the one who creates all the chamatkaras, all the magic, all the uh, miracles of the world. He is the Ganapati. He is the one who is sitting on Ganas. In the sense that he is like the king of all the Ganas. The one who has pleased Sri Ganesha has pleased all the gods and goddesses. Because all the gods and goddesses are pleasing Sri Ganesha. So what is the need? And Sri Ganesha is very clever. He knows. Please. His mother is the only simple thing he has to do. To have all the powers of the world. Just keep the mother pleased. There are so many qualities of Sri Ganesha which can be described. He is the one who gives us the joy of eating. If you eat some food, you may like it, you may not like it. But he is the one who will tell you it is made by Sajogis, made by your mother. That means he gives you the taste of love in the food that is good for you. Because he is love. He gives you the ideas how to express your love. 